Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Makesh's Tech Space. In this episode of WordPress Tips, I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, SMTP mail plugin. Why would you need one? You basically need one if, if you send emails through your WordPress website or you have uh, you have an e-commerce site, you send transactional emails like an order confirmation or account creation emails. If you don't have a mail email SMTP plugin, then WordPress by default uses PHP's mail function to send out an email. And a lot of times the emails uh, will go out uh, from a from address of WordPress at your site.com and that email will, may not even exist. However, on top of that, without a proper authenticated SMTP uh, email, your uh, email could be blocked by mail servers. It, it could end up in a spam folder because it's not uh, tagged correctly. To avoid all of that and make sure your email has all the necessary um, uh, protocols and capability, you know, it's all tagged correctly. Uh, you need a plugin that can authenticate against a third party mail relay. So I'm going to show you the first way, which is using a Google or a Gmail account. And then in a second video, I'll follow up with and I'll show you how to do it with your own domain. Let's say you have your own domain. You can set up a uh, mail relay. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's get started. I am here on my WordPress WP admin dashboard. We'll go ahead and install the plugin. Add new. Search for WP SMTP. And usually it will be the first plugin that's listed. Um, but if it's not, just make sure you're looking for WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. Go ahead and install and activate that. I already have the plugin installed. Um, so go ahead and click on activate. It should produce a navigation um, menu item on the left. Click on that. Scroll down and we'll pick Gmail. As I mentioned in the intro, we'll do the Gmail first. And then in the second video, I'll show you how to set up your own custom domain using one of these other services. For Gmail, we'll need a client ID and a client secret. So we'll need to get that from the Google Developers Console. So let's go ahead and head on over there, console.developers.google.com. If you don't have an account here, go ahead and create one. You'll go ahead and click on Create, which will create a project. Let's give our project a name. Uh, let's say Gmail SMTP for WordPress. Go ahead and hit create. It may take a couple of minutes for the project to be provisioned on the Google API platform. Next, we'll set up, um, or we'll have to enable the Gmail API. So once you're here, go ahead and click on API's dashboard. So you should come, up, come to something similar to this, which is your uh, projects dashboard. Here we'll enable APIs, search for Gmail, click on Gmail API and then click on the email uh, or enable button. And that will enable this API for our project. Okay. The next step is to create credentials and we will pick Gmail API uh, from the drop down on which API are you using? Uh, where, where will you be calling the API from? And that will be web server and we'll click on user data and then click on what credentials I need. Go ahead and click set up consent screen. That will open a new window and then we'll pick external. Internal is for if you have the G Suite uh, subscription, then you can pick internal. But uh, for us, we'll pick external click create, give your application a name, could just be WordPress SMTP via Gmail. Um, you can leave all of these other items default. Let's go ahead and type our domain for our WordPress website. Mine is Mukesh.digital. 
type it in again. Make sure here you you um, prepend the URL with HTTP or HTTPS. One more time. And last time. Hit save. And our OAuth consent screen is set up with our app. Come back to the credentials wizard and you'll come to this screen. Here you can type in, let's see what we're gonna type in here is, oh, the URL that we had. Um, we copied from the settings page of the plugin. If you don't have it, just go ahead and go back to WordPress, go to your WP Mail SMTP screen and copy the link. Come back to Developers Console and um, paste it in the authorized redirect URIs. So go ahead and paste, click on refresh, and then create OAuth client ID. Next we'll do, click on I'll do this later now you should have a OAuth 2.0 client IDs and entry here. Let's go ahead and click edit. And then the, this is your client ID right here and your client secret right here. So let's go ahead and copy this. So paste that, go back, copy the client secret, paste that, and then Click on save settings. That should be done. And then a new button should have been enabled called authorization. So you'll click on allow plugin. It'll take you to your Gmail account. So click on your Gmail account. Uh, the app isn't verified. It'll give you that error, but go ahead and uh, maybe there may be a step that I'm missing. Help. Okay, I think I found out or figured out what the issue was. We missed a step. So before we click on this, there's one more item. Add our domain here. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, now we should be good. Click on allow. Go ahead and click on allow again. And that should be good to go. If you see the button remove connection and connect it as your Gmail address, that means everything is good. And now you can use, configure the rest of this, which is, let's go, the from email will always be your Gmail address. Your from name, you can modify that instead of your website name, you could put your name or you could uh, put your website name. You can you can kind of override that here. Uh, your return URL could be the same as from URL, which is what you want to check. Then go ahead and hit save settings. At this point, you can go ahead and do an email test and send an email to yourself, or if you have your, another email address, you can try that and everything should work. This is an important step if you do intend to send a lot of emails out from your WordPress site. Uh, again, in the next video, we'll do the same setup, uh, but with a custom domain, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, but until then, take care.